Hi, thanks for joining me in another video. Today we'll be doing something we haven't done in a while, taking a trip in a self-driving Waymo. Only today we'll be finally driving on the freeway. Let's hail our ride and get going. While we wait for a car, let's go over what Waymo is. Shortly we'll be getting picked up by a self-driving taxi which is based on the Jaguar I-PACE SUV though soon we might be driven by the Hyundai Ioniq 5. It works like an Uber or Lyft where you hail the car in an app and it shows up in a few minutes. It utilizes a vast sensor suite using vision, lidar, and radar to see its surroundings and make judgment calls while on the road. They run within a geofenced area, so they're only available in a few cities in the country like Atlanta, Austin, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and where we're at in Phoenix. We've done a bunch of rides with Waymo in the past and it's very impressive, but it's always had one setback. It couldn't drive on freeways. Well, now it can. So that's exactly what we're going to be testing out today. Quick rant, normally for these driving videos, we do it as a competition, pinning Waymo against Tesla FSD. We'll still have the Tesla following behind us and recording, but it won't be running any self-driving software. Currently our car has FSD paid for outright, but Tesla hasn't made good on their promise to keep the hardware on these cars up to date. So we've got FSD, but it's still on version 12 releases, when version 14 has been available for a while now. Tesla plans to make a version 14 Lite available in the spring of 2026 for our older hardware, but we didn't pay for a Lite, we paid for the full thing. All right, back to the main trip and our car is almost here. We're going from the Phoenix Art Museum to the Chandler Museum, which is about a 21 mile trip. This is the same route we did two years ago when we did our Waymo versus Tesla expanded map challenge, and it took almost 55 minutes for the Waymo to get there. So we'll redo the same trip, but now with freeway access. Okay, let's go. Hey there, Lorraine. Let's get started. Heading to Chandler Museum. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. All right, let's get through the parking lot. Our chase car is right behind us. According to the screen, it will take us 27 minutes to get to our destination. Waymo has been very competent in parking lots. In our other videos, it's driven through some that have been much more busy and it handles them naturally. Pick up and drop off is always pretty complicated for autonomous vehicles because every parking lot and driveway is different. And they often have a lot of cars and people. As usual, I'm speeding up some boring parts of just straight driving. I'll resume back to normal speed for noteworthy actions. Here we're at our first stop sign, waiting to go straight. Waymo is cautious here, but after this car passes, it proceeds forward. Waymo is at our second stop site, going to make a right to continue on to a main road. Finally at the traffic light, to make a left to our first freeway. Here we go, I'm going to get on the freeway for the first time on the Waymo. We're merging on to the I-10 East for those familiar with the Phoenix area. It's a holiday today so there is no work traffic. We've got pretty clear roads.
I've never seen Waymo go this fast before. Over 45 miles per hour is a pretty big deal. Now we've merged onto the second freeway on the journey. Speeding this up for a few miles. It looks like it doesn't go over 65 miles per hour and it doesn't speed up to pass a car while on the freeway. At this point, Waymo wanted to switch lanes, but it seemed unsure. From the chase car view, you can see it had its blinker on, then it would turn it off, then on again. It would be nice to have a bit more lane confidence while on the freeway. This happened a few times on the trip, and it typically wasn't in a complex situation either. So it takes a little longer to switch lanes until a path is cleared. Okay, speeding it up again. Being capped at 65 miles per hour has everyone passing us. Slowing it down so you can see we are merging onto our third and final freeway before reaching our destination. Luckily, traffic hasn't been too bad, so Waymo has had it pretty easy today. Our chase car ended up having some technical difficulties and we lost the video for a brief period. We finally exited the freeway. Approaching a traffic light and Waymo is waiting to make a right on red. It inches forward to hopefully move along. Unfortunately, there aren't many spaces in the traffic, so we end up waiting for a bit. Though it's quite impressive that Waymo is even attempting to do a right on red from a center lane. We got our chase feedback just in time. It's clear, time to continue. We're almost at our destination. We 
we made it. Perfect. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting. Thanks again, Waymo. Waymo did really well on the freeway. On this trip, it took half the amount of time at 28 minutes compared to the other trip two years ago. It was finicky on changing lanes as it doesn't go above the set speed limit when passing or switching lanes. I'm glad they finally have this working. It's always been a setback for them because longer distance trips would always use side streets. I hope Waymo continues to expand the map so more people can get to use it. Services like these make everyone's experience on the road safer and help with accessibility for all. Total cost for this one-way trip was $35.78. Thanks for spending time with me today. Support our channel and check out our Kai's sticker shop. Kai is my dog. And follow us on social media at Kai ZV. That's all for now and happy charging.